Canyon Moon by Harry Styles. This is a personal favourite of mine. I absolutely love this song. A couple of ways that we can play it. One is very beginner friendly with no capo and basic open chords, but we can't play the riff with that version. So I do want to show you how, if I was to play this song, I would play a capo fifth fret and we could add a little bit more of the riff to it as I've just shown in my intro demo. Let's take a look at this great song. So super beginner friendly version, first of all, open chords, no capo, all based around a D major chord. We're in the key of D here. Uh, I'll link to a chord sheet in the description below from my website, and this is without any transposing. So we've got D major, the other chords in the song are A major, however you want to play it like this or like this is fine. Either way, anyway, you can play an A major chord, E minor and G get you through all of the verses, which lasts quite a long. The chorus takes a little while to come, actually. In the chorus, I'm going, oh, I'm going, I'm going, oh, I'm going, I'm going, oh, I'm going home. So that's D, D major seven, D seven, and then G. And that's the same as sixpence, not on the richer. Kiss me beneath the bit of barley, lightly between the queen green grass. Absolutely beautiful tune. I need to teach that one actually, don't I? So, put simply, if we were just doing beginner friendly version, let's just strum on the B. So, one, two, three, four. Gotta see it to believe it. Sky never looks so blue, so hard to leave it. That's what I always do, A major, so I keep on thinking back, E minor, G, and then D. And that's the, the whole song, just follow the chord sheet, or the bit, I've been gone too long from you, and then I'm going, oh I'm going, going, oh I'm going, I'm going, oh I'm going home. Not too much. So let me just demo why I would go for capo fifth fret if I was doing, it is more advanced. It's a bit of a squeeze for your fingers, really, this one. You've got to fit them in there. But the key of D suddenly becomes the key of A, like the first finger's barring for us to talk you through this more advanced version. And we can play the riff. Other chords in the song, E minor. We do get a B minor where that E minor was before, so it is at least intermediate, but this strumming. There's a lot happening there. If you use that same chord sheet on Ultimate Guitar and you click the down button, transpose down by five, that puts it to capo fifth fret. The first chord would be an A chord and you suddenly know you've got a chord sheet to follow that's appropriate for this. What we're doing here to play that riff, which is the bit I'll focus on, is the melody uses the A major scale, because we're in the key of, capo key of A. And we play that while So that E note, the thinnest string is heard as the melody. Little finger added there, which is the squeeze. Could maybe do this, actually. That's maybe easier. But that melody is just played by the little finger. And we just hold down that A major chord. up is the strumming pan down 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 up down up up down up up down up down 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 up down up up down up up down up same strumming pattern for all the verses which just would stay on an A chord so maybe have a go at that first of all gotta see it to believe it sky never looks so blue I keep thinking back to the time under the canyon. Very, very tricky to do, but that's 
that's what I'd be doing to challenge myself a bit and to add the melody uh, to this particular songs. So you have those two versions. I'm going to link to a couple of videos on my website where Harry Styles plays this himself, a couple of the uh, live concerts, live acoustic versions, and try and play along with those rather than me doing a play along because there's not too many chord changes in this one. It's just deciding which version you're going for, follow your chord sheet to learn it, and challenge yourself with this one. See where you're at. If you can add more strumming with the beginner version rather than just strumming just on the beat, add that. If you want to simplify the strumming and go for capo fifth fret, go for that. But this is one I'm going to leave with you guys to challenge yourselves. Choose a version and see how far you can push it and then just pull back to keep it comfortable and challenge yourself to play it along to Harry. That's what I would recommend you guys do. Let me know how you get on with that in the comments below. Let me know any more songs that you want to request or any more lessons you like to request, and I'll give them a whiz for you. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.